Hey everyone, welcome back to In the Studio with Ophelia. I'm Ophelia and thank you all so much for joining me today. For today's video, I thought it would be nice to just spend some time in my journal documenting my August Live It Up month. As a teacher, for me, August is that just don't want to face it kind of month. And so I am just hanging out in my sketchbook journal. I feel as though I pulled out all of the things for this spread. And um, it's literally like a kitchen sink moment where I've pulled out things that I've not played with in such a long time. And what was great was I played with the things that I've not played with in such a long time. What I'm thinking is I would love for us to do some sort of challenge. If that's something that you're interested in where we have ourselves a basket of things that we just want to use this month, whenever, leave it in the comments below. I just feel as though it was so much fun to pull out things literally I'd forgotten about. That's what was great. I'd been cleaning up here in my studio, uh, decluttering some things, and it was just so much fun finding all of the things that I'd forgotten about. So if that's something you guys are interested in doing, I say let's all do it together because it's far more fun that way. If you like this video here and all of the videos that I come up with, I would love for you guys to consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when all of this comes your way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoy this video. I would love for you to just grab some of your materials something maybe you've not played with in a long time. Let's just get busy in our journal. It is August, live it up month for me, a few more weeks for me to just hang out in my studio and play on my schedule and it's going to be fabulous. So grab your journal, let's get going. Thank you guys. Remember when I said that we would be grabbing the kitchen sink? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm down to, say, the last couple of pages in this sketchbook. And what I decided to do at first was just grab my Lucas watercolors, kind of paint the background. The only thing that I really had in mind was just warm, warm colors. And so once that dried up, I decided I wanted to add a little bit of texture. So I grabbed some matte medium as well as different papers, um, just regular scrap pieces of paper that I'm going to rip and glue using the matte medium to the background of this page. I was after adding some texture, visual texture, not necessarily um, physical texture but I just wanted something else on this page. And so I decided to just grab some bits of paper from a collage pack and glue it all down on this page. For me, when I'm doing this, it does not matter if it is right side up or anything like that because it's going to be a part of the background. Once I get everything in place, I put some gesso over it and you're going to see here where I'm going to take that spray bottle of water because what I want to do is add the gesso to kind of give it a level surface, but I don't want to necessarily obliterate everything underneath and I want some of that to show. So now I'm grabbing my Lucas watercolor. I have titanium white. Cad Red Deep, Cad Orange, Lemon Yellow, and Cad Yellow. I just wanted something to represent 
just the warm summer days okay very hot summer days here in North Carolina so once it's dry you can still see the images of the papers showing through in the back and that's what I mean by the texture now I'm just taking some of those colors and literally building this background For this page, I really don't have anything in mind except just documenting that for me as a teacher, August is live it up month before it's time to go back to school. I chose these colors starting with the watercolor um, just to represent the heat and um, just wanting warm colors. So now that I've gotten things in the background, I'm just using my finger to kind of blend everything out. Um, I let it dry and actually I ended up walking away. So I, once I came back, everything was dried up. Um, now that that's dry, I'm just putting out a tiny bit of color because I don't really need a lot. But I wanted to add more of that red to just kind of deepen things up. I'm using that spray bottle of water to kind of... Um, have the paint spread and move around and if you'll remember and just keep in mind as we're doing this when I say it's the kitchen sink of all the things it's the kitchen sink of all the things you'll remember this stencil from the last um and I'll make sure to link everything but when I did the jelly printing with the gold that's still one of my most favorite stencils and so I'm just using a paper towel while that paint is wet to lift up some of the red and have the yellow show. I added a bit more of that cad yellow with some water because now I want to cover this entire thing to just kind of soften things up and we're gonna play with some more stencils. This stencil is such an old, old stencil and I will try to find it, it's a Donna Downey, but I'm using a rag while the paint's still wet and then I took some of the, or I wiped it over the stencil. And now I'm using a dark room door. Um, it's a French script and I've had that stamp for forever and I'm just kind of putting it or stamping it around the page not necessarily to get like a good print um, I do love because I don't clean my stamps it kind of leaves some grunge behind <laughs> and so now I wish I could have found my um, makeup sponges that I usually have but I'm just using a rag and some of that turquoise paint to go over that stencil with a makeup sponge it allows for a, a more even stamping or putting down of the paint um, but this one for whatever reason I could not keep my finger in the rag well um, and maybe after I wiped the paint off with those dots I should have left it but remember it's kitchen sink now I'm using some um, it's sequin waste and that same rag to just put some of that blue paint down and once it's all dried up I took some beige paint and this is Lucas acrylics because now to me the entire page just felt very busy with that blue it almost shouted instead of like just adding a pop of color this one just it shouted in the wrong way so I'm using some beige paint to just kind of bring everything back together I'm using that rag on to take out some of the areas um, and then while that's drying, I'm going through my bucket of collage sheets. I love, love, love collage sheets and just looking for images to finish up the story of this page. I have way too much paper and I still love paper. So 
Now that it's all dried up and that beige kind of knocks everything to the background, I'm just going to use some collage images to finish building up this story. Way back, and it's been like 2017 or so, I used to uh, get Courtney Diaz, I think it is, Little Raven Ink. I used to get her um, collage sheets. So I'm using some Liquitex Matte Gel to just secure everything down. This was a piece of paper that I found in that box that I stamped on. Um, this is one of her images. I just love finding collage sheets. That's, I just love, you guys know, me and paper, I just love. So I'm just kind of using that gel medium because that paper with the bold numbers was a little bit thick. So I'm using some of that gel medium to um, secure everything to the page. And then just another, I think this piece of paper was actually from where I cleaned my brayer off. I almost feel as though we should, or I should, um, get myself a collection of things in a basket and just don't stop until I use them all, maybe? I don't know. But I've grabbed my Jerry's Jumbo Jet Black Pencil, and I'm just going to outline everything and kind of grunge it up. And then I've grabbed some um, acrylic inks and that uh, dip pen and nib where I want to just do a bit of journaling and... Ooh, I really should work on my handwriting. That's, but it's it's neither here nor there, because it's my journal, and we just kind of roll with it. However, I just for some it's for me it's grabbing my journal, grabbing all the toys that I don't necessarily usually play with, and using those things. That just brings me such joy and. I truly hope that you guys have enjoyed this kitchen sink type video art journal with me session. Um, here I'm using that dip pen and nib. I should use it more often to get more comfortable with how it works. Um, but what would a video be without you guys watching me struggle and drive the struggle bus? So, I'm just doing a bit of journaling around the page using that black acrylic ink. I almost feel as though this page helped me get my head on straight for back to school. Teachers here start a bit earlier than the students, and y'all, I am just not ready. I am literally, I keep telling myself I'm ready, but I'm not ready. So I use some of that red ink just to add some splatters, and here's the page. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!